after a success of Freestyle Libre with approximately 2 million people using it. Abbott has released Freestyle Libre 2. What's the same? What's new? What's missing? Hey, it's Nerdabetic, and in this video, I will explain everything about Freestyle Libre 2. I've talked about Freestyle Libre 2 multiple times in my monthly diabetes technology report videos, videos where I keep you up to date on what is happening in the diabetes technology space, but in this video I want to take a much deeper dive into how Freestyle Libre 2 works, what it does, and what it does not do. Freestyle Libre was announced to the world at ESD in 2013, and without a doubt, it became a European hit quickly. Combining trend information from a CGM, eliminating the need for finger pricks, and acting as a replacement from traditional testing kits. Our diabetes community has welcomed it dearly, healthcare professionals like the simplicity of it, and payers appreciated the significant price reduction at the time compared to traditional CGM systems, resulting in vast coverage by European healthcare systems over the years and large number of self-funders. Seven years later, Libre has been launched in over 30 countries, including US, Australia and many more, and it currently has modern 2 million users. As the CGM space becomes more competitive than ever with competitors launching new products on a constant basis, after five years Abbott has decided to refresh its flagship diabetes product, Freestyle Libre, and call it Freestyle Libre 2. But what does 2 actually mean? So Freestyle Libre 2 is a flash glucose monitor with optional alarms. Original Freestyle Libre required scanning to obtain information about your glucose trend, so your arrow, your glucose value, so your number, and information if you in, above, or below target. Libre 2 still requires scanning to get glucose trend and glucose value as this information is still communicated using the NFC technology, which is the same technology as your contactless debit card or Apple Pay. However, the general glucose information stating if you're in target, above target or below target is now transferred over Bluetooth, just like with other CGMs like Dexcom, Eversense, Guardian or others. Abbott has designed this system to provide you with a low alarm, but they still want you to scan the sensor to learn just how low you are. Libre's to low alarm will simply tell you that you are low, but it will not tell you your glucose value or your glucose trend. This is only available once you scan your sensor with your reader or your phone. Abbott strongly highlights the fact that all alarms are optional. You can turn off all alarms and use Libre 2 just like the original Libre. This even applies to the low alarm. Optional alarms is basically the only thing that's changed. So, let me show you this dog to keep you happy. Abbott states that they have equipped Libre 2 with an updated algorithm which has improved accuracy, especially in day one, but the overall MAD has remained stable at 9.5%. New algorithm also reduces lag time between sensor value and glucose value to 5.2 minutes on average. This is still bigger than Dexcom's 4 minute lag time. And the reader is blue now, in case you haven't noticed. Libre 1, black. Libre 2, blue. My conspiracy theory is that it's blue because of Bluetooth built in and uh, the Illuminati triangle agrees. However, there is one critically important thing about Freestyle Libre that Abbott is not changing with Libre 2, and that is the price. Price for Libre 2 is exactly the same as the original Libre. This is especially important to maintain coverage by European public healthcare systems and to self-funders worldwide. And so that's Freestyle Libre 2. How does it work? 
In Abbott words, it's alarm, scan, act. What's the main difference compared to other CGMs on the market? Well, it does not show you your blood glucose value live, like Dexcom does. It only tells you when you're low, and it tells you that you are low. But it does not tell you just how low. In my words, Freestyle Libre 2 is a little bit like an S series of an iPhone. You know, Apple always releases the newest, greatest iPhone, like an iPhone 6. And then, after a while, they want to refresh it a little bit. You know, upgrade it slightly. So they release an iPhone 6s. You know, it doesn't have as many new features as an iPhone 7, an iPhone 8, an iPhone 10, or an iPhone 11. But it's a nice refresh. And if you do to get a new phone, and it's exactly the same price as the iPhone 6, you will go for the 6S. And that's kind of what I think about Freestyle Libre 2. Uh, it's more like Libre S than Libre 2. And I do not use this analogy for no reason. Abbott has already stated during an investor's calls that Freestyle Libre 3 has been in development for multiple years. Libre 3 is expected to be a significant upgrade to the Libre product. New iPhone number kind of upgrade. Whatever Libre 3 is bringing, it shows that Abbott has learned a lot from Freestyle Libre since its commercial launch 2014 and their Navigator CGM pre Libre. And so that's Freestyle Libre 2. In three words Alarm, Scan, Act, or not typical alarms, or keep in my G6. And so that's Freestyle Libre 2. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Uh, if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments as well, I will answer them. And um, are you going to upgrade? Um, let me know, or let me know why not. And um, subscribe for more diabetes technology videos. Um, I see you soon. Hope you're well. That's all from me. Pick up. Also, if you're super nerdy, you should know that I chose iPhone 6 as an example because it was the first iPhone to have NFC communication.